Hey! About this percentage of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, so if you want the backwards Mario head to turn in the right way, you'd honestly appreciate it, and also I would appreciate it. Anyways, play my intro. <laughs> Recognized symbol of excellence in sports entertainment. Hello, everyone. Back, Antenna P here, and I'm talking to my normal audience. So, if you're new here, you might be a little bit confused. If you look at episode two and four of the commentary series, they are wrestling videos, and I have not made a wrestling-related commentary video since 2016. Now, in this video, I wanted to talk about why I haven't made a wrestling-related commentary video since then, and also how I got into wrestling, and also explain those videos and why they are so bad. So, without further ado do let's get right into it it was 2015 and i was watching a lot of random videos on youtube and i stumbled across wwe's top 10 videos and i ended up watching a whole lot of them and then it led me to watching john cena related clips on their channel after that i tuned into monday night raw which is one of the wwe's longest running television shows and one of the things i remember watching my first show was Vince McMahon getting arrested in front of Roman Reigns. Then after I saw that, I tried watching every Monday night as I was interested. And eventually I even started watching SmackDown, which at the time was airing on Thursdays. And it is also, SmackDown is also WWE's other show that they have. Then in 2016, outside of Raw and SmackDown, I started to watch the WWE Network, which had a wide variety of content, including pay-per-views, and original content. My first WWE pay-per-view I watched, I believe was the Royal Rumble. I think it was when AJ Styles debuted, but I could be wrong. Also, besides that, I got to witness my very first WrestleMania, which was WrestleMania 32, which I believe the main event was Roman Reigns versus Triple H. Now, after all of this, I was really interested and to the point where I even got some of the WWE games for Xbox, such as WWE 12, all the way to WWE 14, and even one of some of the newer games. Well, not really nowadays newer, but at the time, I even played WWE 2K17 on my PlayStation 4. Now, besides that, back to the network, the one thing I really liked about it was that it had a whole backlog of old Monday Night Raw episodes from back when the show began airing in 1993. And so I decided to watch a lot of the older episodes. And to this day, I have not gone past episode 185. And also another thing I remember doing was just constantly leaving the WWE Network airing on in the background. Like if you've seen my videos, I leave Twitch on in the background, which probably isn't the greatest idea, but back in 2016, it was the WWE Network. And also another thing that they would do is re-air old pay-per-views. Like for an example, I remember waking up one morning to them airing like a mid 2000s WrestleMania. But anyways, that was how I got hooked on watching WWE. And I literally remember wanting to get a trampoline so I could make a wrestling ring out of it. But eventually on my channel, I made two videos, which probably stand out. When I first started my commentary series back in 2016, I created two WWE related videos. The first video I'm going to talk about is called What Happened to WWF in Your House, which talked about a canceled pay-per-view that WWE no longer aired, and it did not really have a lot of information as it aired during the 90s where the internet access and information on the internet was limited. Oh yeah, by the way, one thing I should probably clarify, WWF is WWE, as in 2002, they had to rebrand from the World Wrestling Federation to World Wrestling Entertainment, all because pandas had some chairs in their cages. Now, this video, I would actually be down to remake because a lot of things have happened since that video has been made, and also a lot more information has come out as well. So honestly, in general, I would be down to make that video just because of the information that's recently come out, but, well, not recently, but in the past has come out, but also in general, I just want to make that video better. The other video I made, it was about the WWE draft, which I talked about how they were going to be doing a brand split for the first time in many years, and how certain wrestlers would be drafted to the certain and brands and then after that i did not once make a wrestling video again until today now before i get into my reasoning surprisingly way before i officially made the commentary series i actually made a video on wrestlemania 32 which was really bad because literally during the video i had a cold and in the background i had someone else's wwf super it was like a wwf super nintendo game i don't know the exact game maybe if you chat or me put the name of the game on screen and everything but i had someone else's footage in the background and overall that video had really low effort and literally at the time i thought hey it's a popular topic might as well make a video on it 
Now, eventually, I started to watch way less of anything wrestling-related, as in mid-2017, I started to watch more of Twitch, which led me to not make another wrestling video. Now, don't get me wrong, I still like wrestling, and even to this day, I still check out things if I'm interested. Like, for an example, last month was Raw's 30th anniversary, and I was interested to see if they would actually use a Raw is War set, but in reality, they just used LED boards and everything. And also, I finally checked out my first pay-per-view in a really long time, which was Elimination Chain because I heard the main event was going to be Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns because apparently there's like this bloodline story going on and I wanted to see if Sami would win because apparently Roman's been champion since 2019 but of course when I watched it but of course when I watch Sami Zayn loses and everything. Pretty much watching both, actually no, mainly watching Elimination Chamber brought me back to when I was younger when I constantly watched wrestling and everything. Now will I make another wrestling related video? Maybe, maybe not. It really depends on the topic, and I do have one cool idea, but you all will see that in the future, coming very soon. I really don't know when I'm going to make that video, but... Now, do I have favorite wrestlers nowadays? I do have some favorite wrestlers. I really like when back then even too. I loved Macho Man Randy Savage. I just he was my Steam profile picture for many years until I changed it to Mario Party Mario, and... He, I just loved his attire. I loved his style. I liked his, like, his bushy beard and the whole long hair thing. And apparently back before he did any wrestling, he played baseball, which was another thing that kind of caught my eye on him. And another favorite I had was Stone Cold Steve Austin, as back when I would watch a lot of Attitude Era clips, he was just the one main prominent figure that would just kind of stand out in everyone. And also back when I watched in 2016, my favorite wrestlers that I could think of, there was Dean Ambrose, um, Seth Rollins was cool and there was also Becky Lynch and Emma those were also my favorites as well and John Cena of course you can't forget John Cena now compared to 2016 to now a lot of things have changed like for an example Vince retired and now Triple H ran the company for a short bit until Vince to re returned to sell the company I really don't get that whole situation but there's also a new wrestling company there's AEW because back in 2016 there was WWE TNA Ring of Honor those were the three shows and everything but now there's AEW which I guess isn't really competing with WWE but because I think someone mentioned that they're I think someone at WWE mentioned they're not really thinking of competing with AEW or whatever but literally, Dean Ambrose is now in AEW, which his name is now John Moxley over there. But it's crazy how a lot of things have changed, and I hope I'll just keep my eye open to see if anything else happens. Because honestly, again, if I'm interested in something, I'll keep my eye on it. Oh yeah, like for an example, one main reason what kind of inspired me to make this video was me interested in seeing what Logan Paul was doing in WWE. Because he joined, he did a match at WrestleMania, and now he's a part of the crew, and it's... Honestly, that's the one thing that kind of brought me back a little bit to kind of keep my eye on things. So that's one huge thing. And I think that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment and also watch the whole thing through as it really helps me and everything. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye Also, if the end part didn't make sense, I literally went off the top of my head and I'm trying to improve my improv skills because speech is very important for things to remember. Oh, <laughs>